Okay, one more. Um, the vice president said, um, speaking of, of vaccines and distribution, COVID, etc. She said, quote, in many ways, we are starting from scratch on something that's been raging for almost a year. However, Dr. Fauci has recently said, quote, we're not starting from scratch because there is activity going on in the distribution. And even today, uh, your administration said that there was, I believe the number was 892,000 doses that were administered in the final week before the president took over. Um, so is that the best message to say that this administration started from scratch when there were indeed doses going out the door and folks like Dr. Fauci say that's, that's not the case? Well, I don't think any, most governors or most of the American people would tell you that they think it was handled effectively and efficiently by the prior administration, uh, given we are where we are. When, when the president came in and the vice president came in, there were not enough vaccines, there were not enough vaccinators, there were not enough vacci vaccination locations. They've taken significant steps to address all of those issues. Yes, in the week prior to the president taking office, there were about 800 to 900,000, as you said, doses doing, uh, uh, being given a day. The, on, the average was about 400 to 500,000 prior to that. Last week, the average was 1.7 million a day. So there are a significant steps that have been taken. What they were conveying was that uh, we did not have a comprehensive plan. There were not enough vaccines. There was not enough coordination with governors and local officials. And there were not enough places where people could get the vaccine. And now we're working to address that. And it was important for the vice president to convey that because the American people need to know what we're digging out of. Uh, and that was why she said it. Go ahead. Oh, let me go to the back because he hasn't had a question yet. I'll come to you. Uh, question on Tokyo Summer Olympic Games. So presidents say any decision must be based on science. But I'd like to know how soon he expects to see a final decision of if there will be any Tokyo Olympic Games as scheduled. As of now, is he confident there will be a safe Olympic Games in Tokyo? I just don't have an update. I understand the question. Lots of focus and interest on the Olympics, but I don't have any update from here. He will participate in the G7 uh, meeting this coming Friday. Mm -hmm. I understand he will focus on pandemic, economic, and China. But should we expect there will be more discussions such as Tokyo Summer Olympic Games? We'll see. I'm sure there'll be a range of issues that are raised by the members of the G7. It's an important opportunity to have a conversation. Obviously, he'll be delivering remarks. I think we'll be previewing his remarks, uh, which will give him a little bit more time to work on since he was traveling yesterday. Uh, later, probably tomorrow night in advance of Friday, and there'll be more of an overview of what we, you should expect him to talk about. Go ahead. Yes, I just had a point of clarification on student loans. Um, as I understood it last night at the town hall, President Biden said he was prepared to write off $10,000 in loans, but not $50,000, because he doesn't think he has the authority. And, and you said that that legal review still has to take place, but is the door, for, for the president himself, is the door to $50,000 essentially closed at this point? Uh, the, the president has previously stated that he does not favor $50,000 in student loan relief without limitation. And some of what he talked about last night, much more extensively than what I'm about to say, uh, but is that, uh, you know, there are a lot of factors public schools versus private schools, graduate schools versus undergraduate schools. Uh, and he also believes that relief above, he continues to believe that relief above $10,000 should be targeted. And $10,000 he's conveyed, because there's been proposals in Congress, as you probably know, that he'd be eager to sign that bill that Congress can pass. But yes, there is a legal review. There's going to be a, a review by our domestic policy team uh, uh, that, to consider all of these options. Uh, and we'll wait for that conclusion before a final decision is made. Gotcha. And then and, and then one other question, just building off of the sure. earlier questions about Texas. Does the White House believe that more should have happened earlier to better prepare Texas power grids and water systems for climate change? Um, and what does the White House believe needs to happen there and in other states going forward? And does the kind of crisis we're seeing right now make any of those things more urgent? It's a really important question. I think our focus, though, right now is on providing relief to the emergency situation that we're seeing in Texas and in surrounding states. I'm sure there'll be uh, time to look back uh, and evaluate uh, what better preparations, if better preparations should have been done, could be could have been made. Um, but at this point in time, we're just focused on getting relief to the people in the state and the surrounding states, I should say. Great. Go ahead. Question on going back to the five days of school. Sure. So again, at the end of the day, unions, uh, local school officials, governors, will have 
the ultimate say on this. So is the, right. is the president and at the end of the day, is he setting a goal um, that, can't, that he can't meet and that is ultimately not his to meet? Well, you're right in the sense that, and this kind of goes back to um, one of Nancy's earlier questions, right? This is going to be up to local schools and school districts. However, what has been lacking is clear federal guidelines based on science um, done by health experts to give schools a better understanding or a better roadmap for what mitigation steps they can take to ensure their teachers, their students, their community can return safely. That was what was announced by the CDC, of course, on Friday. The role that the president can play, I'm not the president, I work, I'm speaking for him. The role the president can play is to work with Congress to get the necessary funding. That is the role he can really play. That is why his focus is on the American Rescue Plan, working with Congress. The role the federal government can play is from, of course, not just providing the CDC guidelines from the CDC director and their team, but also having our Department of Education work with schools on figuring out you know, how to apply the, uh, the review or the research that is currently underway and how to apply the mitigation steps. That will be Secretary Cardona's first priority when he takes office. But it will be up to the local school districts um, to determine the implementation of the mitigation steps. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.